Hi, my name is David Fern, and I'm a lead cloud architect for Arrow ECS in the UK. In the first of these getting started tutorials, I'm going to show you how to get started with the IBM Smart Cloud Enterprise Web Control Panel. So once you've navigated to the login page, enter your login credentials. You can get these from IBM. If you don't have an account, please feel free to email me at david.fern at arrowecs.co.uk. Once you've logged into the cloud portal, you are taken to the administration screen. From here, we can manage users and download usage reports. These reports become very useful if you are looking to use the smart cloud as a virtual data center, as a way of tracking customer usage and then reporting it back to them. Within the profile tab, we find information on our account, such as individual customer information and instance-based resources, such as SSH keys, reserved IP address information, both public and private information, and recent events. So the overview page is a 1,000 foot view of our cloud account, showing recently provisioned machines and their current status, and a list of compiled notifications. The control panel is where the majority of the action occurs. From here, we can create, terminate, restart and save instances. We also use this area to look in more detail at some of the attributes of the instances, such as instance ID. This is the equivalent to a serial number in a physical environment. The operating system type, some IP information, the virtual server configuration information, DNS, DNS information, and then any other relevant configuration information. From the control panel, we can also manage, view, and deploy our saved images. We can manage, view, and attach our saved storage blocks. This is persistent storage used and sort of stays in place even after an instance has been destroyed. And we can view and deploy our service instances. Once we finish using the control panel, we can use the sign out link to safely exit out of the IBM Smart Cloud control panel. When you're originally logging in to the control panel, you'll notice a blue box at the top of the web browser. This contains all of the maintenance information, such as what the actual uh, maintenance IBM would like to carry out is, what effect it may have on what type of guest VM and then also the uh, the time period that it's going to occur in. To get rid of this you can very simply click close. Thank you for your time and now please view the other videos in the series on getting started with Linux and Windows instances on the IBM Smart Cloud. Thanks for your time.